meditation today, we'll be allowing these thoughts to be revealed to ourselves and written onto our papers that you received when you came in. And then we will be burning these in our burning bowl service. So there will be a flame at the front and we'll come up and drop them in and they will burn. Now, of course, this practice is but an outer symbol of an inner truth that you are already free. You are already free of any limitation, any false sense of the little self being in control. What we're doing today is a physical release of that which already is so. It is already done. So I invite you to take a moment to reflect on this past year, 2018. What has that been for you? For all of us, it's been a little different, yes. There have been joys, there have been sorrows. There have been opportunities for new beginnings. There have been endings. There have been things out of our control that perhaps we didn't choose and we've had to make our way through them, through the experiences. And in every one of these experiences, everything, the joys, the sorrows, the ups, the downs, that which we consciously chose to say yes to, that which we said no to, and it happened anyways, in all of these things, the one power, the one presence of God has been with us. Because in truth, in unity, we are never separated. And as we let go of the belief of the limited self, being alone, through all of these experiences, we can embrace this truth more fully in our hearts. And this is where our prayers, our desires are fully answered in our lives. So now is time for us to offer love, gratitude, and forgiveness for what was. We offer love by inviting these memories into our minds, into our hearts, and knowing that the Christ as me, that presence of God that resides as this expression, has met everyone as the Christ that they are. And as I think back on all of these memories, perhaps those things that I said no to and happened anyways, perhaps those things that were unexpected in my life, perhaps the people and the situations that left me walking away feeling less than pleased with the experience. As I prepare to let go, I offer love from my Christ self to the Christ of them. And this is the power of forgiveness. It is not saying, I agree with what you did, and it is okay that you did what you did, but it is saying that the Christ as me <coughs> beholds the Christ as you, and I offer you love. For this, I give you love. And that is a powerful release right there. And offering gratitude. Now, gratitude is easy for all of those things that we said yes to up front. I think of all of those things, all those joys. Anybody have a new birth in the family this year? Yeah. And we see these joys and we say yes and we say thank you, God. It is so easy to say thank you, God, for new life. It is so easy to say thank you, God, when things go our way. And today, in this moment, as we reflect on 2018, 
I invite you to say thank you, God, for those things that you didn't ask for. Because in them, as we reflect back, we can find the gift. We can find an ounce of opportunity that our minds are transformed in some way to see something in a new way. We've learned something. We have been transformed. And from that transformation, we can say, thank you, God, for all of it, all of 2018. When we are at the point where we can fully say to the past, I love you, I bless you, and I appreciate you. Thank you, 2018. That we can release anything that is holding us back. But first we have to do the love, the gratitude, the forgiveness that is part of the release. Because otherwise we're still holding on tight to something that's not going to let us go to that next step. And for some of us, these are things that have been in our lives for many, 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 many years, not just 2018, but perhaps a belief from childhood that we were incapable of something. And one of the reasons why I work with the arts with people is I've met so many people who have told me that they are not creative. Dear Unity of Lawrence, you are creative. Know that. <laughs> but what's happened is that somebody somewhere in their lives told them you can't do that. You can't draw, you can't sing, you can't write, you can't whatever, right? Have we all? Somebody told us at some point we couldn't do something. Yeah, and especially when we're kids, we believe them. And so many of us are still holding on to these thoughts, these beliefs of limitation. Now, I want to tell you right now, whatever they said to you was not the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are is a divine being, and a divine being that has infinite potential. All things are possible with God. And whatever is calling on your heart, whatever has been saying, yes, do this, do this, take this step. Whatever is your desire is God's desire for you. And as such, there is a way. The only thing holding us back is ourselves. It is us believing those false beliefs. It is us thinking, I need to hold on to that resentment. It is us thinking it needs to look this way. Our future planning can hold us back, right? It must look like this. To the degree that we can let go, fully release it all to God, we can move into that next step, that next evolution of being for ourselves. Are we ready to do that? Yes. yes. If you are ready to release, say, I am ready to release. I am ready to release. Take a breath. So what we're going to be doing today is I'll be leading you through a guided meditation to help bring up that which needs to be released. Then we'll be writing those on our papers. Now I want to point out, <laughs> yeah, some of you are with me already, yeah? Yeah. yeah. How much do you need to let go of? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is intentional. One, fire hazard. Two, <laughs> clarity. Because so often when we are thinking of these things that need to be released, when we're in our meditative state and we're going, oh yes, I need to let go of that and that and that and that, they can all be summarized. Oftentimes it is one or two root words. It might be fear. It might be um, grasping for something. It might be control. Ooh, that's a big one. I mean, if all you wrote on here was fear or control or grasping that says it all. Yes, and 
God as you, in you, expressing as you knows, not only the words that you need to write down, but knows the intention behind it. So when we have the opportunity to write our words on our papers after our meditation, I invite you to think simply, simplify, hold the thought in mind more so than the words on the paper. And then we will be inviting you up to burn them. The ushers will be guiding us in a circular format so that we're not tripping over one another. So we'll be following their guidance and coming forward as we feel called to burn our papers and then come back to our seats, holding that space of meditation and prayer for everyone that's coming forward, knowing and affirming with them that as they release, it is so. So I invite you to take a breath again. And we'll prepare for our meditation together. So I invite you to close your outer eyes if it is comfortable. And just take a moment to breathe into the present moment. The breath in itself is a form of release. What are you ready to let go of? As we invite this thought, I remind you that you are safe. You are safe from any memories of past experiences that may come forward. There is nothing in your memory bank that can harm you. We are safe, we are protected, and we know that we are spiritually guided. As we reflect on what has been in our lives, what we have carried with us to this point, the luggage overflowing, that we've been dragging with us. We consider which pieces are we ready to let go of? Which pieces no longer serve where we're going? What is it that you need to release so that your soul may feel its expansiveness. What is holding you back? An old story? False beliefs? Habits and addictions? Limiting thoughts about God? limiting thoughts about who you are in this world. And as we bring all of these thoughts to mind, I invite you to clench your fists, make them tight, imagine them grasping on to all that has been in your life. Squeeze as tight as you can and squeeze it tighter. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and drop your hands by your side and just let it go. Feel that sense of release. And know that in this moment, God is waiting for you to say yes to the release. That the inflow of the source of your very being may fill you with love may fill you with light, may fill you with the knowing of the infinite potentials that lie before you. Take a breath. And as we prepare for a moment of silence, we allow spirit within to reveal to us those core things that we are ready now to release, 
that we may move into the next state of our own soul's evolution on this planet. What must we release to move into the potential knowing who we truly are, knowing our light, and allowing the love that we are to flow through us, to serve our divine purpose. We breathe in, we breathe out, and we listen for spirit in the silence, in the silence. I now release these errors. I loose them and let them go. I let the universe have its perfect way with me. I am free of the mistakes of the past and the results of the mistakes of the past. I am free. I am free. I am free. And as you allow these words to be your words, I invite you to open your eyes, to gather your paper and pen, and to take a few moments to write that which you are willing to release on your paper. Are you ready to release fear, past anger, hurt, regret, control? What would spirit have you release today? If you will, repeat after me. I now release what I no longer desire. I now release what I no longer desire. And I make room for the desires of my heart. And I make room for the desires of my heart. I forgive everything and everybody of the past or present. I forgive everything and everybody of the past or of the present who needs and desires forgiveness, who needs and desires forgiveness. I loose you and let you go. I loose you and let you go. I now allow divine order. I now allow divine order to do its work for the highest good of all to do its work for the highest good of all. And with this affirmation, I invite you to stand as you are ready and willing to burn your paper 
in our burning bowl ceremony. And as you come forward, you'll go around in a circle and back to your seats, following the direction of our ushers. So we're going, we're coming down uh, this side here. <laughs> and then we'll return to our seats around here. Just that easy. I love it.
and as we extinguish the flame of the burning bowl, we know, we affirm that all that has been released has been released back to spirit. All that has been released is now enfolded and circled in the golden light of spirit. And we are free. Let's affirm that together. We are free. One more time. We are free. And one more with the I am. I am free. And so it is. And I would like to invite June Holtz back to sing for us. So in that space of freedom, 